Hi, I'm Grace. I'm your teen services librarian. Hi, and I'm Ashley. I'm your adult services librarian. And today we're going to teach you how to make marbled mugs with nail polish. For this craft, you'll need a white mug or mugs, nail polish remover, a large plastic container that will fit your mug and water, nail polish colors that you want to use, avoid nail polish with hardeners in them, toothpicks if you prefer them for swirling, and paper towels. To prep, go ahead and fill your container about halfway up with warm water. This container needs to be large enough for a mug to be comfortably set in. Begin by holding your nail polish bottle to the water as close as you can and then start a slow swirling motion with your hand. This will create a marble effect. You don't need to add a lot of nail polish as the polish will spread out. Take your mug and put it over the nail polish. Slowly dip it straight down to allow the polish to stick onto your mug. You may have to move your mug to catch any straight polish. Once done, lift your mug straight up. You'll want to do this dip process quickly as nail polish tends to harden and set pretty quickly. You can layer the mug with other colors like what we're doing with the nail polish glitter. Make sure to blot up any previous nail polish that you have used before adding a new color. To add a new layer of color, repeat the previous steps. If swirling the nail polish with the container itself isn't working for you, you can try swirling it with a toothpick and then blowing on it a little bit to get the liquid to spread out. If you don't like your design, you don't need to worry about getting a different mug. You can use the same one. Using nail polish remover and a paper towel, you can take the polish off and start over. Once you are happy with your design to keep it lasting a long time, use a sealant such as a Mod Podge dishwasher safe water based sealant. Also gentle hand washing is recommended rather than a dishwasher. And that's how you make marbled mugs. Thank you so much for watching. And if you end up making any yourself, we'd love to see pictures of your creations. And as always, happy crafting.